A community coming together for a popular restaurant employee who lost his battle to COVID-19. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. Alicia has the night off. When Valentina in Encinitas lost its busser to COVID last month, the restaurant didn't just lose a hard worker. They also lost a friend who leaves behind young children. Now they've started a fund for Manuel Manny Castellan's family, and there has been an outpouring of support. News 8's Abby Alford shows how the restaurant and its guests are serving up support. In the hospitality industry, it's their job to take care of their guests, and that's exactly what Manny Castellone did. But Valentina says now it's their job to take care of his family. Manuel Castellon may have been a front house busser at Valentina restaurant in Encinitas, but his boss says he did so much more. Manny to me was was not only a coworker but a friend. But at the end of November, he called his boss, director of operations at Valentina, Ricardo Zarate Jr. You know, he called him one day and said, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well, I'm not going to come in. By early December, Manny was hospitalized, where he fought his battle against COVID for two months. The 51-year-old passed away on February 10th. The thing that that, that we don't realize is how much it hurts us uh, from him being part of our family. That we can only begin to imagine what his family must be going through. COVID has hit the Hispanic and Latino population the hardest in the county. Ricardo and Valentina knew that they needed to help Manny's family with mounting hospital bills and a funeral. So they set up this GoFundMe where donations are pouring in to help meet the $10,000 goal. He has impacted people for years. Um, he has definitely touched the lives of his co-workers, of guests, and of obviously without saying his family. Ricardo has helped Manny throughout the years. Last fall, after Manny was furloughed from another restaurant, he called Ricardo looking for work. The boss didn't hesitate to hire him. By that time, Manny had moved to Tijuana, where he commuted to Encinitas every day. In one word, he told Ricardo he did it for his family, his wife Cecilia and their three kids, ages 7 to 14. He may have had a sacrifice a couple hours every day, get up early, go to sleep late. But for him, it made it so much more worth it so that he could give his children and his wife a real, you know, a, a much more comfortable life. A life where a man gave so much, now his co-workers and friends are giving back. My heart goes out to his family and I'm just trying to do what I can to to return some of Manny's generosity back to. If you would like to help Manny's family, just go to our website at cbs8.com and click on the help button.